I think the time has come for me to address the lightroom-shaped elephant in the room. After a recent review of Darktable by a very popular photography website, I've decided I'll give my two cents about the whole Lightroom vs Darkroom comparison. I've been using Lightroom since its inception and have been a Lightroom user until late 2020s. With all the different versions of Lightroom, I will focus on Lightroom Classic for desktop. I'd like to begin with a conclusion. Darktable is an application that gives you more control of your image formation and image formation pipeline. Darktable is better if you like spending time crafting each image and require finer control. Darktable also includes better capture repair tools, especially for highlight recovery. Lightroom, on the other hand, provides quick, consistent results that are satisfactory. The entry barrier is very low, as it requires virtually no knowledge on technical details of color, image formation and image pipeline. All the technical work is done by Adobe engineers behind the scenes. Since I'm a big fan of bad analogies, here's one. Darktable is a rally car. It will produce results that are unparalleled, given the right driver. The driver needs to be experienced, knowledgeable and patient. If everything goes well, the driver will enjoy the drive and will be satisfied with the result. However, the rally car is awful if all you need to do is drive to work, pick up your kids from school and get some groceries. And this is where Lightroom comes in. Lightroom is a minivan. Practical, easy to drive. It can get 7 people from point A to point B with ease and comfort. You don't need special knowledge of the limits of your engine, nor do you need an ear protection or a helmet. It looks nice, it drives smooth, and it gets the job done. Day in, day out. So which is better? A rally car or a minivan? Is a rally car a good replacement for a minivan? Which one gives you more driving pleasure? And this exactly is the point. It even is highlighted in Darktable's GitHub. Darktable is not a free Adobe Lightroom replacement. It is a digital image developing software, and it can produce a result that is identical to what Lightroom can produce. It also includes a form of digital image management, but that is about where the similarities with Lightroom end. I see Darktable more of a laboratory, where you are free to experiment and really develop your photos. I see Lightroom as a more of a photo retouching software, where you start with a good baseline provided by Adobe engineers, and then you make adjustments according to your taste or preference. If I was forced to point out the most impactful difference between the two software, I'd probably say it's Darktable's Filmic RGB. I suppose many people would like me to say that Darktable is scene referred and Lightroom is display referred, but I'm not going to say that. Filmic RGB and its highlight reconstruction tool are incredibly strong and provide incredible control. That being said, Lightroom does something similar to Filmic, however it's all buried somewhere deep and it's not at all exposed to the user. I'm pretty sure it's hitting under profiles, but it could be somewhere under calibration. The second, as powerful tool as the first one, is their ability to reorder the modules. Their ability to turn them off and on. Their ability to duplicate and mask each one of them. This gives incredible control of image processing pipeline control that Lightroom simply does not give you. And lastly, without going too much in depth, I have to mention that Darktable is open source software that is free of Adobe's whims and ever-changing licenses. Remember, you don't own Lightroom, you just lease it. It's Adobe software that's on loan to you. All those collections you made are proprietary to Adobe software. You are fully locked in. If you break the EULA and Adobe terminates your license, all you end up having is a brick catalog file that can only be opened with Lightroom. Sure, you can export XMPs, but those XMPs loaded or converted will not yield the exact same results on a different software. Lightroom is incredibly fast. 
Every change you make is instantaneous. Importing, comparing, exporting is lightning fast. Something that Darktable sucks so much at. There we go. Every tweak requires recomputation. Whereas Lightroom processes everything much faster. Lightroom also has a benefit of being an Adobe software, which includes support, cloud features and interoperability. There's Lightroom Mobile, Lightroom for iPad and others. You can take your presets on the go and use them to develop your raw captures you shot on your phone. And lastly, Lightroom is incredibly intuitive. All the complexity is hidden and automated for you, so you don't need to become a color scientist to be able to develop a photo. I think that is an incredible selling point, especially for hobbyists. Now I'm going to get attacked by fans of both software, just because I didn't mention this obscure use case or that obscure feature. The fact is, you can get excellent results with both applications. One group of users will prefer Lightroom due to its sheer quality of life and speed. Other group of users will prefer Darktable due to its advanced, refined control of the image forming process and pixel pipeline. And now it's time to say something rather controversial. I think Darktable is a better piece of software for both professionals and hobbyists. Professionals will find it incredibly liberating having the amount of control of every step of their development pipeline. Thanks to the work of color conscious developers, Darktable's tools are incredibly aware of what they do to color, preventing hue shifts, drifts, clipping and other mathematical nonsense. Everything can break if you push it too far, however. Going back to my silly rally car analogy, Darktable is much easier to drive into a wall. Hobbyists, such as myself, might find Darktable inspirational. I know I did. It reignited my curiosity and I wanted to learn more. I wanted to build and develop my photos, not just tweak them. I wanted to feel that I'm creating each and every captured moment. Darktable filled this desire at 110%. It's an excellent tool for education and tinkering, and will very likely reignite a smoldering love for photography. Lastly, Darktable is yours. The developers kindly provide the software with a GPL3 license, which means you can download it, and once you do, it's yours. No updaters, no license service, no compatibility issues. The fact that Darktable is open source is difficult to believe as the software is incredibly stable and incredibly powerful. It is absolutely ready for professional use and it gets better by the month. I really do think it's an underrated piece of software and I really think that every person who has true nerdy passion for photography should give it a try. And not just run the software and move a couple of sliders, but give it a real go. Use it for a week, watch some tutorials, read some documentation. Promise you're going to have a difficult time going back to Lightroom. Or not. So that's the rundown of the two very different software packages. I've avoided comparing them side to side, as there's no point in doing so. As I mentioned before, both can perform very well, and it would be impossible to say which photo was made with Lightroom and which one was made with Darktable. Comparing them side by side is absolutely useless. Oh yeah, and if you made it this far, don't forget to subscribe. And maybe show this video to your nerdy friend that might be interested in pushing their photography skills to the next level. I'll see you soon. Bye.